Temperance River State Park. Uh, I set up camp and everything already, and I'm just making a making a short hike around the river. Uh, Carlton Peak is actually a really well-known peak around this area, and it's in this park. So it's about a four-hour round trip, it sounds like, and it's like six o'clock right now, and it's. It looks like the last mile is about 800 feet of elevation, so that's a little bit too much for that late at night. I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. Uh, turn the camera around and show you what I'm looking at, though. Temperance River right in front of me, and there's a deep, deep canyon. You can see the water down in there. Really crazy landscape. Gonna walk up that way. A lot of ru water running through there. I'm gonna climb down here a little bit. Gotta be very careful though. Don't wanna fall down that. Uh, yeah, that goes down quite a ways. Check it out, Don. That's the fifth substantial waterfall in the last not even half mile. Just goes down this gorge, down level to level, and now we've made it to a portion where it turns into rapids, follow it, following it upstream. Again, this is Temperance River. And she's opening up a little bit. Still rapids, but I think it's going to be a, a calmer river upstream. And she's a totally different landscape up here. Here's where the wind's kicking in. Feels like Alaska. What I imagine Alaska would be like. Actually, I might. I brought my fishing pole and I haven't done any fishing yet, but I brought some fish batter and stuff. I might uh, throw a line in actually a little bit later. Maybe tomorrow? We'll see. Alright, we're back to some of the rocky stuff. And behind me there's uh, another waterfall. I think that's the fifth or sixth one. And somewhere around here is Carlton Peak. I have a sneaky suspicion it's that one right there. Well, somewhere up there. I don't see any other peaks through the trees, at least. Sometimes you're just in the perfect place at the perfect time of day. I made it to my turnaround point where I was at an intersection. I had two miles to go until I got to Carlton Peak. That's when the elevation really starts to change. Um, and even more drastically with one mile to go from what I hear. So, but anyways, I turned around. It was just going to be a short hike where I followed the river tonight. I'm um, on my way back to my campsite. I ended up getting a campsite in a campground. Um, just to have the convenience and luxuries of having my car and everything you know that I need right there so today was supposed to be kind of a relaxing day and so far it was um, I'm not huge on campground camping uh, it's just not really my thing you know nothing against the people that like camping in a campground I would just rather be out on the trail and you know instead of a community in the woods kind of thing um, I was actually setting up setting up shop uh, at my campsite and I was brushing my teeth earlier looked across the road and there's this guy in his lawn chair just watching me so that's the kind of stuff you don't really have to worry about when you're out in the backwoods campsites also you can just zip up your tent 
turn around the corner and take a pee when you're out in the backpacking sites. In a campground you can't really do those kinds of things. So they have their ups and they have their downs. Um, I live in the cities so I usually come out to submerge, submerse myself in nature. Um, I would rather get away from people. But I've actually been ending up meeting a lot of really cool people on this trip. Um, every now and then you'll bump into people and catch up, um, talk about, I don't know, their story and it's just kind of cool the way it works, you know, on the trail meeting people. Uh, everyone's really friendly and kind of has a, obviously the same like-mindedness if you're out here, so. But um, anyways, I'm heading back to the campsite and I'll show you that once we get there. It's getting pretty dark now. Look at this little dude, just mowing down. Getting ready for winter, I guess. Better thicken up, huh? Yeah? The squirrels and chipmunks are very friendly. They're not scared of humans at all up here. Well, another night on Lake Superior and a full moon. And I'm literally on Lake Superior. You can hear the waves on the shore right now. Try to get my flashlight down on the rocks so you can see. I've never seen rocks like this. Really cool. Just uh, been sifting through these. It's all this talk about agates. Well, I don't know how to identify them, but there's a place to find them. I bet they're bet they're in here. I had to get one more shot of it. This is quite possibly the brightest moon I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen shadows from moons, and yeah, my camera's not gonna pick it up at all, but wow. Like, I can, <laughs> I can see probably brighter than what people during the eclipse could see. Well, here's my campsite at Temperance River. Obviously got my car there, solar charger charging. So far, nice and sunny. So I'm making breakfast this morning. Having breakfast tacos, hash browns, eggs, and cheese, and summer sausage. And then my tent's right over here. Had a nice little tree to hang out under. Uh, I was sprinkling when I got here. So yeah, this is the campground. Can't really see it through the through the lens, but there's a lot of a lot of activity going on in this campground for a Wednesday. All right, this is the end of Temperance River. I'm on a bridge that goes over it right now. Lake Superior. I'm gonna go play some tunes down there. Alright, so I just got done uh, with a good little session, a little over an hour of playing playing guitar right off the beach, my feet right at the shore there. And uh, someone came up to me because they liked what I was playing and gave me a free hug coupon. So I got a free hug and I can give that away to someone as well. And then I saw just shimmering in the rocks that I was sitting in. See if you can get a good view of this. It's an agate. I found one. It's a good one. You can see all the layers and stuff. It, it's uh, not doing it justice I see on this camera, but yeah, trust me. Take my word for it. It's a good one. So I'm going to take this baby with me. It's what I've been looking for. I think I'm going to get going. Uh, go up to Carlton Peak and then head over to my next state park. All right, I'm going on a short hike to Carlton Peak. So it's one and a half miles from here and it's one of the most scenic and well-known peaks of the North Shore. 
So let's go. Who says there's no fall colors in Minnesota in September? She's a muddy one. And so begins the upward journey. She's gonna be a doozy. And there's some darker clouds coming overhead. I don't even pay attention to what the forecast says anymore. It, it pretty much always rains at some point of the day, whether it be for five, five minutes, half an hour, a few hours, it always rains up here. So I brought my raincoat just in case, so it's a pretty cool rock wall. It just came across on the trail. It's kind of leveled out a little bit now. You can see tons of trees. Well, I've made it to the point where it goes up to the summit. It's up that way. And it looks like uh, Temperance River is down that way. I came across this little entry book. So uh, I've started reading it, reading a couple peoples. Uh, it looks like so far I am the fourth person today to enter in it. So wrote my little entry and left my card for my music. And I think I'm going to hike up. Here it is, the one and only Carlton Peak. Wasn't too bad of a climb. Lake Superior is over there. If I get up this rock, we'll uh, go to the top and see a good view of Lake Superior. Kind of sitting on this. Well, I'll show you what I'm sitting on. There's a lot of these like post outlet things. I don't know what they are, but a lot of them up here, up there too. Just gonna sit here for a little bit and kind of enjoy the scenery. Just making my way around till I get to the top. Just getting different angles here. Someone's shooting guns. You can kind of hear in the distance, and you can actually hear like people talking down there too and stuff. Really surprised how much noise travels when you're in such a quiet spot. I mean, I'm used to being in the cities. Well, here we are at the peak of Carlton. And it is pretty nice up here. This is the true summit. And there's, you can see what I mean, there's a lot of these, I don't know what the heck they are be interesting to find out. Maybe it's stuff they used before this was national forest land. Maybe it was for, I don't know, getting the rock. Anyways, pretty nice. You can see a cloudy day today. So I think I'm going to climb off this mountain and uh, head on over to George Crosby, Manitou. There's tons of backpacking sites on there, so I don't think I'll have a problem finding a site there. And Not to mention it's Wednesday right now, so it shouldn't be an issue. But here we go. So on my way back down, a couple things about Carlton Peak that I forgot to mention while I was at the summit. Um, it's about 942 feet above Lake Superior. Sea level elevation is 1,500 something, and uh, the sign that I was reading was saying that these types of mountains in Minnesota develop after the land erodes, and then like the the land with really hard, dense rock um, is left over and pretty much creates those mountains. So there you go. Um, but if a lot of a lot of the landscape up here is formed from glaciers. Obviously, everything running into Lake Superior and stuff is all from an, I don't know, 12,000 year ago ice age. So, 
just making my way back to the car. Just wanted to fill you in on a couple of things that I forgot to mention earlier.